What's cracking, people? It's your baby mama's favorite cousin, Cousin t Talk. And today, I wanted to drop this quick response uh, to a Fresh and Fit podcast clip. I'll leave the, uh, the actual clip in the description below. But first and foremost, gentlemen in this space, we always champion, hold high uh, a presenter's ability to prove what he says. And... For this, of course, I'm going to have you take out your copy of the Seduction Scriptures and turn to page 119. Yes, we are about to quote from the Seduction Scriptures. Welcome to the Teton Tabernacle. Let me get the music. Here we go. And for anybody who would like to donate to the Teton Tabernacle, the link is down below as well. The building fund is going along, but we have an immediate need for a tambourine player. So get us to our goal to get a tambourine player and hit that cash app link down below so anyway if you are at page 119 in the seduction scriptures you know that this is the space where the language of women is observed analyzed and broken down in a formulaic manner for the consumption of men let's be clear we understand that men and women are two completely different creatures okay video after video uh, has been made and i will try to find some other videos that i uh, reference this difference in our language Uh, but basically women speak on three different levels whereas men we uh, most often than not speak on one level we're very very direct whereas women tend to be matter with theirs they tend to couch what they're trying to say in language that provides them a social hedge and a back door to deny uh, anything that would have been interpreted or insinuated during the conversation but i am going to give some optimal game right now this is usually reserved for the patreon but we're going to do this right now on youtube and then i will play the proof of concept right after so on page 119 of the seduction scriptures look at verse 8 here says here's a formula or k codes that i've observed for structuring a simplified language of female seduction lightweight words plus implied actions that are mitigated by social risk minimalization equal seductive access now in the next verse we go into it here it says lightweight words like little trouble cutie playtime cuddle could be used when employing the formula keep it about how she will receive and give you pleasure we'll get back to that in another video implied action words like feel heat pipe cat thump pull push need to be added to the formula lastly it says this and this is the most important part affirm the social hedge slash upside which means that she loses little to no social currency with this exchange and could potentially gain something positive slash desired outcome words like freeing no pressure chill low key no judgment cool simple are added to balance the equation gentlemen we all know that the average woman of any age could out talk and talk circles around most men however when you have someone who is breaking it down like your cousin in a manner that you can use you can put in these any of these combinations together but I want us to focus on this last part the social mitigation or the social hedge slash upside part the final few words are key no judgment cool and simple keep that in mind and let's listen to this clip okay all right like I was gonna say it's not no I wanna fuck you no you can't say that you know what I'm saying it's more or less like so in other words, you can't be honest. Was, it's, it's you can be honest, but not say I want to fuck you Don't or I want to have sex face. with you. But it's more or less with I, the wa- words. I want to do things with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I feel like, you know, if me and you get into this, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be cool. 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 Wow. It's, it's like uh, wise men always say, 
If you really, really want to know what a woman is thinking, just let her talk. Even the most modern quote unquote woman who is trained and conditioned and through media and through uh, movies and all of these social memes uh, that try to convince women that they are just like men or they can be better than men, no matter how much programming they receive, they will always, always revert back to nature and the dynamics of nature in terms of how uh, male and female dynamics have evolved socially over time dictate that women verbally couch what it is they're thinking or saying or desire in three different ways. First way, it has to have an emotional component. I feel or this is troublesome or little or something that uh, softens what it is that they need. An action or an activity included, something like uh, heat, move, push, pull, something that implies that some activity is going to occur. And finally, there needs to be a social hedge component. She needs to know that she's not going to lose some social currency uh, with doing said activity in order to even consider going along with uh, a man's program. So. The following page on the book goes into an entire sentence structure uh, using these components in a fluid manner uh, from the hello to the escalation component when meeting a woman that you desire to acquire. Highly recommended, gentlemen. We're not going to drop all of that here. Of course, on the Patreon side, we will be going uh, more in depth into the differences of speech patterns, but also how to get what it is you want not necessarily asking but positioning what it is that you desire in a way that yields a positive outcome for everybody as always this is your man cousin t aka the alpha wingman saying stay sharp and mission focused later